I also wanted to take a look at how this budget impacts a median household. So we took a median value, a uh, median sale value of $472,000 at a median assessment and took a look at the taxes at the current mill rate and the taxes at the proposed mill rate. And when you take a look at the taxes at the proposed mill rate, those taxes go up $384 over the course of the year or $7.35 a week. Now, I know people are, are, don't uh, like paying taxes. I certainly don't like paying taxes. I'm sure John doesn't like uh, paying taxes. But in order to maintain the services and maintain the quality of life in Monroe, what we're asking, I think, is an affordable number for every household. And also, I think another important thing on this slide is that if you're a senior and you're on our tax relief program, our expanded tax relief program, that quite frankly we've boosted by 50%, your taxes will either stay the same or go down this year if you're a new member of this, of this uh, 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 tax relief project. And this is great social policy and great tax policy for the town. We want to keep our seniors in town. It's very, very beneficial to us. And <coughs> we're hoping that they understand that we've taken a big step forward in ensuring that they're going to have uh, a better quality of life in Monroe with this tax relief program. I said to you before there's a value proposition. I felt that this budget had a better value proposition than any other budget that we've had in recent history. Last year, I said, uh, last year as I said, we had a mill rate increase of 5.14%. This year, it's 5.29%. But here's the value proposition. The budget contains $2 million for emergency radios. It contains another $800,000 to begin a vehicle replacement program. It has $50,000 to repair a building and make sure that our EMS and volunteer firemen um, are, are uh, uh, not wasting energy and are not cold in the winter and warm in the summer. There's a 4% increase for fire services. This is critically important. We have a full volunteer fire service in Monroe. We have no paid, uh, no paid uh, firemen. This is the first increase they've had in four years. Uh, their cost for uh, their buildings, their oil, their electricity have all gone up just like everybody else's. It's about time that we start to uh, recognize that fact and put our money uh, into a, 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 our, our volunteer fire service that helps us, protects us, saves us, and saves us a tremendous amount of money. $240,000 increase for road maintenance. We have 143 miles worth of roads. With this $240,000 increase and the other budget dollars, I'll be able to start a program that's going to pave 7 to 12 miles of road a year, pave and maintain. Uh, this is a 20-year project. This is the first step. Anybody that's been out there knows that the roads need help, and uh, this budget addresses that issue. We've also got $30,000 in there for uh, recycling and uh, waste uh, tipping fees. That's going to be a big issue. Uh, I've talked about that before in, uh, in town meetings, and we'll talk about it again probably on this program. Uh, we've also put in $21,000 for a full-time uh, economic development and grants coordinator. This is something the town desperately needs to help us keep down the cost of property tax increases to our residents. We don't have any salesmen. Uh, this person acts as a salesman to business and acts as a resource to our town departments. And I'm also thinking of working in conjunction with the Board of Ed to help them out on some of their grant projects with this also. This budget also continues to maintain our school district's excellent uh, services. We're not making uh, any cuts on existing services, and John will go into that, uh, that issue shortly. But uh, I think this budget uh, helps maintain our service, our education service. And finally, and again, I want to re repeat this, we've increased senior tax relief by almost 50%. Uh, I think when you look at the value proposition in this budget as compared to others, you'll see that uh, there is something of value to vote for in this budget. It moves Monroe forward. Many people have asked what they can do. And what I'm asking you to do is listen to programs like this and understand what you're voting on. Go on to the websites that are available to you. The town web website, MonroeCT.org, has all of the presentations I've done and all of the uh, information on the budget that you would require. I'd also ask you to vote on April 1st. That's when our first budget referendum is, and I think it would be wonderful if we were able to pass this budget. And get your spouse to vote. Get your friends to vote. 
be an informed voter, and vote. That's a little theme I'm building here. It's important that we uh, get the vote out. So in summary, I think it's fair to say that we've delivered a needs-based budget for education, emergency <coughs> services, capital projects, and senior tax relief. Uh, the budget increases road maintenance funding, which is something that we have far too long not done anything about. And in my administration, I want I made a want to make a priority about getting that work done. This is the lowest percent increase starting point in recent budget history. Uh, and again, we've cut uh, almost 1.8 to 1.9 million dollars off the uh, uh, existing budget. And the big problem we've had with revenue, obviously, is the Oxford tuition, and that's negatively impacted our mill rate. But this is a budget that is balanced, moves, for, moves Monroe forward, and uh, is affordable. So with that, I want to uh, talk a little bit uh, uh, to John Getz, who's our superintendent of schools, who's done a ter uh, terrific job since he's been here and got nothing but rave reviews about your performance, John, so that's, that's tremendous. And I think if you look out <coughs> over the 2008-2009 Board of Ed budget, what do you, wh what's that current proposal looking like in 